So if you are my A17 um, by the way, uh, everyone from the A17 to 25 knows someone who is depressed. Yeah, you have seen memes and tweets about it. You have also seen it being sung by all these rappers. The new genre of music, emo punk. You have seen you have seen rappers singing about death like dying is an everyday thing. If, if you are on social media, you probably know about Zeus World, uh, Lil Uzi, uh, Trippy Red, singing about death, breakups, cutting wrists, Gen X. They have always like half open eyes and have like a drugged out face. Not everyone is clinically depressed. I mean, it's not possible. People these days uh, label their sadness as depression and their nervousness as anxiety. When the problems that they are facing often don't reflect those psychological problems. Either a lot of people are doing it to look cool or seek attention because it is marketable as fuck. If you push me to the A's, all my friends are dead can hit number one uh, there's something going on if healthy people are convinced that they are depressed they ultimately identify with the glamorized social media's post aggravating the phenomenon even more people spend nine to ten hours a day sideways on their bed scrolling through their social media and binge watching these days everyone binge watches which is one of the signs of depression and if and if you don't treat it it could turn into something much uglier I mean 20 years ago if someone said people would be laying on their bed watching laptop for 10 hours they would be like what's wrong with you you need someone to speak with I mean it's so big at this point like for people my age it's market role it's fucking selling yo these disorders are a real issue for a lot of people in our society the fact that influencers and companies are profiting of representing merchandise uh, that promotes the glorification of mental health issues is sickening a uh, necklace with the wars or depressed or anxious should never be marketed as fashionable. I mean teenagers in US are on average 9 hours on their phone. They live so much of their time scrolling down all those hashtag summer body, hashtag new car, hashtag new setup, hashtag delicious food that they start thinking there's something wrong with their life. They're in a situation where you can fix some of your shit. Not all of them are related to depression. There's no way that everything wrong with you is a symptom of depression. Feeling depressed and having depression are completely different things. Sometimes I'm depressed, I feel sad and want to be left alone but that doesn't mean I have depression or anxiety. Me, I felt depressed this past summer when I sprained my ankle and couldn't walk for days. Uh, the doctor asked me to take at least two weeks of rest so so I laid on my bed for two days then got off my ass and put on my jersey and went to the park because for me it's all about freestyling it's all about confidence I have made some progress I mean I can do some decent tricks just look at this I almost broke my ankle that summer I mean I am an egocentric person I rely on my confidence to get by and and when my confidence w went away because I couldn't go to the park I was depressed I'd be laying on my bed like for a whole month I, I mean almost entirety of the summer but after a month I refuse to wallow on my pain or wallow on my sadness I'm gonna go to the park I'm gonna work around it I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way and work on my sitting juggles because me I always think there's something wrong with me there's always those negative thoughts in my brain maybe there's something really wrong but I try and choose to ignore it it's easy to wallow in self-pity it's easy to wallow in sorrow and for people like me it's not depression it's not I'm not depressed I mean, I am in general not a depressed person. I could if I wanted to because we are at the point where it's normalized by our society. I mean, don't lie around for 8 hours watching Netflix, don't get drunk and stoned all day because you are bored and please don't think about jumping in front of a moving car. Try to stay positive because most of you out there, you aren't depressed. Most of you out there, you, you can get over it. Who started this shit? Walk inside the pen, you get it lit up in this bitch Got a bottle of rosé, I don't got nothing to say These bitches wanna stay, tryna do a quarter, yeah, god